first and foremost, all praises and all glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem Harakakodash, Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father, which means He to be, He exists, He exists in one. Bahasham is in the name Yahweh Shai, His only begotten Savior, Son of the world, ignorant the cause, Lord and Jesus Christ. His name is Yahweh Shai, which means He deliver and He Savior. Double on us, Apostles and Elders, and give me a strong citation to you, like Virginia in His work in truth and sincerity, across the four clones of the planet, urge us in their life to do so. Space Force, the first new branch of the armed forces in over 70 years. One of my proudest achievements in my first term was to create Space Force, the first new branch of the armed forces in over 70 years. It's a big deal. Now that Space Force is up and running, I agree with your leadership. You want this very badly, but I agree that the time has come to create a Space National Guard as the primary combat reserve of the U.S. Space Force. Very good. Right. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. So as president, I will sign historic legislation creating a space national guard until I spoke to somebody that's a great guy, very much uh, a fan of yours, Marco Rubio. I said, what do you think? He said, I love this. I love it. I love it. So uh, we're going to do that. Space Force has been very important. Very, very important. When I did that, uh, the other people came in. They, they wanted to end it, and they were just hammered because people realized how important. We were getting just destroyed in space, and now we're leading. We are leading with all of the major metrics in space. Russia and China were killing us because we had we didn't really have a focus on it and once you did that we have a focus and now we're leading in space throughout the armed forces we will make a historic investment in building a u.s military for the 21st century investing heavily in drones robotics artificial intelligence hypersonics all right first off again sorry all please say let's close off that very quick um yeah so uh, side with Obadiah 1 and verse 3 The pride of thine heart had deceived thee, thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rock, whose habitation is on high, that saith in his heart, Who shall bring me down to the ground? And that is it. You know, to the simple, he will, be, he will deceive the masses of the um, voters, whatever. It's all good. We want Trump inside there anyway. And this is, this is one of the main reasons why, because of his pride. He's a proud man. And, but, and who better? You know, as the apostle said to the spirit, you can see he carries the same vibration as Neo, and it would be fitting for Neo to be back here to get his judgment. He burned down Rome and blamed it on the Israelites to persecute Israel, right? So it would be fitting that Nero get that judgment, all right? Because really and truly, it's not about any defeat from these other nations, Russia, etc., China in space. It's about fighting um, Yahweh Shai, right? Is about fighting your yeah, shy. Right? That's why they want to have that space force. You know? This book of second address and to chapter thirteen verse eight. After this I beheld a low all they which were gathered, what the scripture say, up concerning um, the gathering, the scripture say, my determination is to gather the nations. You want to gather the nations, so what fight? All right, let me see that. My determination, let me get that first. Zephaniah so chapter 3, verse 8. Therefore, wait ye upon me, say the Lord, until the day that I rise up to the prey, which is pray, he's going to make the predator. He pray. Who is the predator at this time? Esau and Edom. They what? They sit in lurking places, right? See who they can devour and who they're trying to devour Israel, right? Esau and Edom trying to devour Israel. So they are the predator and we are the prey. But what is what the Lord is going to do? He's going to make them the, pre the prey and he is going to be the predator. Yahweh is going to be the predator. For my determination, what? The Lord's determination is to gather the nations, beginning with Esau and Edom, right? And these are the nations that are confederate that are going to fight that third world war 
his his determination so God in the Lord's will is a half world war three right the heavenly father's will is a what it's to show his power to remind the nations and to show his power by the destruction of East one Edom and their kingdom right my determination is to gather the nations that I may assemble the kingdoms you see kingdoms rulerships to pour upon them my indignation which is righteous anger even on my fierce anger for all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy right that what the Lord is going to do he's going to devour the earth with the fire of his jealousy so let's go back to the second Ezra chapter 13 verse 8 now second Ezra 13 verse 8 and after this I beheld and lo all they which were gathered so who was gathered the nations world war three Russia America um, um, Israel um, Iraq Iran all these nations um, India China Palestine Korea all these nations are gonna fight NATO and EU nations they're gonna fight they gotta to fight and what the valley of Jehoshaphat which is Yahweh Shaphat Yahweh's judgment right it says to sub together to subdue him was so afraid and yet does fight and lo as he saw the violence of the multitude that came he neither lifted up his hand nor held the sword nor any instrument of war but I only saw that he sent out of his mouth as it had been a blast of fire right and out of his lips if living bread and out of his tongue he cast out sparks and tempted so he's gonna give the command and the chariots are gonna zap it's gonna start to zap with the lasers right and they all were and they were all mixed together and they blast the blast of fire the flaming breath the great tempest and all and fell with violence upon the multitude which were prepared to fight which is these armies of all these nations right and burn them up every one so that upon a sudden of an new an innumerable multitude nothing was to be perceived but but only dust and the smell of smoke when i saw this i was afraid right so the lord is going to reprove the pride of esau you know pride of this guy dj trump yeah dj trump you know you, you, you yes you made the space force and now you want to make a national guard for space yeah you yeah you you do it all you do it all the habashim is going to take it down right going back to this um look at this um J jeremiah 49 or jeremiah jeremiah 50 right called and 29 call together the archers against babylon all that bend the bow camp against it round about let none thereof escape recompense her according to her work yeah according to all the wickedness he had done to all the nations right according to all that she had done do unto her for she had been proud against yahweh and against the holy one of israel yeah because you think that you are god you, are, you think that you are the god right because you what you hand of the heavenly father yahweh bashim yahweh had not been upon you because you're living in your blessing all right because yeah you, what you fail to understand is that there was an appointed time for your rulership now it's time for you to lie down to get down to bow down to serve right but you refuse to you refuse you refuse to step down which is all by will of yahweh bashim yahweh you're going to be taken down with might the lord said what you are vessel or rat fitted for destruction your kingdom going to be destroyed you're going to go into slavery for a thousand years before you are destroyed right therefore shall her young men fall in the streets and her men of war shall be cut off in that day say the lord right we, we, we can write there in the kid the nlt her soldiers all with will all be killed say the lord behold i'm against thee o thou most proud say the lord yeah because you're crazy you, know, you have a space force and you want to make a space national guard it's not for fight russia and and, and and china and korea it's not because you're last in the space race it's not because you don't have hypersonic missiles and you want to get it and have drones out there nah all that is bs you want to fight your habashim yashai to keep your to keep your rulership and in your rulership you want to destroy the nation of israel right the true israelites your your um, your, your your councils you have what klaus schwab saying you want to kill six billion people right yeah people dropping down right now from from the ikiviki 
the, the residual effects of the iki viki right yeah people get any new plagues you should just say only with thine eyes thou shalt see the reward of the wicked we see it all good it's all good in the eyes of the in the eyes of the elect in the eyes of the saints it's all good because why these people refuse to hearken and bow down to your how so what the plagues the plagues that were written the plagues that weren't written according to Deuteronomy 20, 28 verse 58 go on down the plagues they are coming to pass right we see in all these plagues the m the m the monkey you know what i'm talking about you have the, you have dengue you have um the triple e and and the list goes on right fluoridated waters chemtrails in the sky and the list goes on you have to be removed e you have to be removed the scripture says, unless the days be short, no flesh will be saved. We see in the short days, we also see the prophecy speeding up. So guess what? We have to see the eradication of a devil. Right? Jeremiah 15 and verse 32. And the most proud shall stumble and fall, and none shall rise him up. And I will kindle a fire in his cities, and it shall devour all around him. All around about him. Right? Yeah, so that's about it. Uh, you know, I guess straight to the point. Yeah, the most high gonna de destroy this devil. He's proud and he continues to persist in his pride. Right? With that, pray that his edifying to the elect. Shalom.